Hello, everyone. How are you today? It's me, April, and you're on the El Porto Shark page. Our mission is ocean and shark conservation through research, education, and action. I was just noticing my hair sticking out, but whatever. It's all good, right? Okay. Inspired by viewer comments, of course, we want to know your questions. Someone asked us about great white sharks, threat posturing, threat display. What is that? Well, or do they do that? And that was from user Shark Punk or Punk Shark. I'm sorry if I got your name wrong. I looked at your account and I didn't find out much. You have a new account in the last two weeks. So cool. Thanks for being a new follower and thanks for your question. And I apologize about your name. But so bull sharks or reef sharks, as you pointed out, have a threat posture. And they're one of the first ones. They were the first ones that scientists kind of figured out, made, a, made this posture. It's a biologic response, really, that predators, prey, you know, animals do this posturing all the time. And yes, great white sharks even do it. I have a great photo that I found. Uh, it's a stock photo, Nature Public Library, and I'm going to put it in the comments, and it will show you a great white shark threat posture or, you know, they're posturing or posing. And all animals do it. I mean, humans do it as well. You know, stand up real tall, or act like you're or you're defensive. So it shows a little more complex behavior, which goes into things I was talking about yesterday and kind of like I always talk about, not kind of like, but how I always talk about. There's a lot more to animal behaviors than people realize. It's not just eat, sleep, make little animals, right? Lisa will tell you a lot about this. So she's the behaviorist, our vice president, Lisa Miller. And I'm the non-biologist, but know enough about biology that I can talk to you about these things. So I'm much more in the uh, chemistry and physics part of it. But seriously, I've observed a lot of white sharks. I've seen them, you know, pose and posture. And really, it's something that animals always do. Now, the reef shark, uh, posturing sharks, it's, uh, it's something that they found. Um, the gray reef shark, they have an agonistic display. And it's a broad term, agonistic, which is, encompasses a lot of behaviors that result from or are triggered by a biological conflict between competing organisms. That's the way Wikipedia defines it, which I'm not a super huge fan of Wikipedia as a reference, but elasmoresearch.org says the same basic thing, and so that's probably where they got it. But I wanted to read you that, uh, that little definition. So sharks do show display as do different displays, posturing and whatnot, reef sharks, white sharks, etc. And the meaningful posturing was first noticed in the gray reef shark, as I said. They, um, which when the, they were chased and cornered, they performed a complex display. I don't, chasing and cornering them, I would hope they weren't chasing them and cornering them, maybe like observing something else, chasing and cornering them, but Yes, it's called an agonistic display. So back in 2007, uh, there was a review of different displays of the gray reef sharks posturing, and then also posturing in 23 species of sharks from six families, including the great white tiger, sand tiger, scalloped hammerhead, etc. So it is something that is common in all sharks, and it's quite it's a biologic response. Again, when there's competitors, there's you know. Oh, and it's something humans will do at times as well, right? So that is the answer to your question. And thank you for that question. We're going to keep it a little shorter today since it's Friday. Friday. I know I'm the dark with my braids and then I left my phone making noise on. I do apologize for that. But hey, it's Friday. It's Friday. I'm just feeling like chilling out, having a good time and reading a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. But yes, so the, the answer to the question is... What's a threat display? And it's a way a body will move, whether it be a shark, a bear, et cetera, other animals that have agonistic behaviors when they have that triggered. So it's a, it's a chemical trigger. It's a biologic trigger. It's a visual trigger. There's a lot of things that come into play. So what exactly does it is something different in certain animals. So it could be a biological, a visual, a chemical. There's just different responses, right? Based on different animals. But as far as sharks are, yes, white sharks will have agonistic displays as will all these others. So 
There's a 2007 review by someone called Aiden Martin. So we'll have to look and read that. That'll be very cool. But keep your questions coming, okay? Make sure you let us know what you want to know about sharks because we're definitely happy to go through the gamut. And I'm going to have Lisa and other people on our team do videos as well. I'm like the only one that'll get up and do videos. So you may be stuck with me for a while. Lisa and I do old lady ocean science, which is always fun. Mm -hmm. So that's when she's on. And I need to turn this off, right? Because it's like annoying. I am so sorry. But so that's that. So please send us more questions. We love hearing questions. And we do have our book out. So if you're interested in our book, Shark Science for Everyone, it goes over a lot of interesting things and encompasses not just, you know, some biology type things, but there's some math in there. And there's also communication because if you've been, if you heard me talk before or if you've been around our videos and whatnot, you know, communication is really important. It's part of our mission, our shark PR. So we, we want to give that to as of you who are interested as well. We talk a little bit about comms and, so it's it's a fun little book, but it's only ten bucks. It's an ebook. We're not clogging up paper, and you know, make sure it gets delivered to you easily through email. Um, we will have other things in our stores later, and at some point we will do physical copies of the next version. And we're also working with another author on a cool little book. So it's a lot going on, but do us a favor. Make sure you're subscribing. Tell your friends to subscribe. You can follow us all over social media at El Porto Shark. If you have a message for us, you can message us here. You can send us an email, shark at El Porto Shark. If you want to work with us, if you want to find out more about some of our research, classes we give, trips we do, et cetera, we're working on some very cool things with some different universities here this semester, which I'm really excited to talk with about. We're working with different students from uh just starting out in high school all the way up into grad school this semester. So we have a lot of fun projects going on and I hope to share a lot more of that with you. So next week I'll probably talk a little bit more about PR, but I don't know. Maybe you'll ask me a bunch of questions. So keep the questions coming and remember, stay well, stay nice, be kind. It's warm out, be patient. Just try to chill, man, right? I know, I didn't have a good line there. So anyway, I want you all to have a fantastic day and be sure to subscribe, buy our book, $10 on Venmo, out of Porto Shark. Send us messages. We're super excited that you're all fans. So stage awesome, bye.